Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for June the 15th. Today in 1536, Mary Tudor received some visitors, namely a group led by Thomas Howard, the Duke of Norfolk, and others to basically force her to submit to her father, accepting that she was not legitimate and that he was the supreme head of the church. Eustace Shapley, the imperial ambassador, wrote back to Charles V about the visit. He was close to Mary, so he would likely have had some insider information. He wrote, To induce her to obey his commands and accede to his wishes, the king sent to her a deputation composed of the Duke of Norfolk, the Earl of Sussex, the Bishop of Chester, and several others whom she literally confounded by her very wise and prudent answers to their intimidation. Upon which, finding that they could not persuade her, one of them said that since she was such an unnatural daughter as to disobey completely the king's injunctions, He could hardly believe that she was the king's own bastard daughter. Were she his or any other man's daughter, he would beat her to death or strike her head against the wall until he made it as soft as a boiled apple. In short, she was a traitoress and would be punished as such. Many other threats of the same sort did the said deputies utter on the occasion, assisted in their task by the princess's governess, who happens to be the same as before, having then and there received orders not to allow the princess to speak a word to anyone and to watch over her so she should never be left alone by night or day. Chapui encouraged her to submit, which she would. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.